part two of my vinyl update for June 2023, the new records. Hi hi everybody, uh, welcome to part two of my vinyl update for 2023. Uh, I've decided it took so long to show you both a pre-loved and the new that I'm splitting this video into two. So I'm just recording this intro after I've recorded the video. Um, but yeah, this is all the new stuff I have bought in June 2023. If you want to see the pre-loved, watch part one. In one of those mums where lots of artists I like have released records. Plus I've picked up a couple of um, random new records as well. Um, one of which is this, Queen is Dead by the Smiths. So the last proper Smiths album I need is one of one or two of the compilations I want to pick up as well that I don't already have. Um, this was $24.99, no discount on new records, but this was from Slice Final as well. This obviously is widely regarded as their masterpiece, it'll be interesting to see if I agree. Because I do really love Strange Ways. Okay, so there was two Prince titles re-released uh, around his birthday, so whatever Friday nearest his birthday was. Um, and uh, both titles I've already got. They were both previously Record Store Day releases, but for various reasons I picked them both up. Originally I was just going to pick up The Gold Experience, which as many of you will know is my all-time favourite album. Um... Not just my favourite Prince album, my favourite album, full stop. So I've got the two versions of the Record Store Day release from last year, which were replicas of a promo release, which were in a plain sleeve with stickers, um, and featured the remixes of the song I Hate You on the fourth side. This is this re-release is a replica, pretty much, of the original release. Um, picture quality is a bit poor compared to the original apparently but most importantly it doesn't have those remixes so it's got the original album spread over four sides instead um so yeah i really wanted to pick this up and obviously have i did have a slight problem with it when i got it home in that the two sleeves were stuck together in the middle for some reason so as i pulled them apart i have lost bit of detail on the inner sleeves um if it was somewhere like hmv or something i'd have taken it back but i know it's a lot of hassle for kieran to return records um i wasn't overly bothered what i will do is when these inevitably start selling in sales for a lot less money i will pick up another copy that doesn't bother me at all um, but yeah, really pleased to have a replica of the original album. And then the other one that was released um, had also previously been a Record Store Day release, and that's The Truth. And I wasn't going to pick it up full stop, and I told Kieran I wasn't going to pick it up. Um, but when I went in to collect Gold Experience and the other bits that were released that day, I had a look at a copy of this and realised that it was significantly different from a Record Store Day release. So I picked a copy off the shelf, took it up, he said, oh, I think I'll put one by for you anyway. And he did. Um, so that's why the sticker's got my name on it. Um, so this is $23.99. So yeah, this is the truth. Um, apart from not having Record Store Day sticker and what have you, the big difference is that on a Record Store Day release, that bit and all the text is in gold foiling. So it does look significantly different. So being a, a completist of sorts, I had to get it really my excuse anyway um, but this is his acoustic album largely performed just him and a guitar although it's quite a few overdubs and he's an absolute masterpiece interestingly this came with download code and quickly flashes 
but Gold Experience didn't. Uh, next up is the new album by Extreme. Uh, so this was thirty eight ninety nine. Uh, so this is simply called Six, because it's their sixth album. Their second and third albums are two of my favourite albums of all time. Uh, Porno Graffiti and Three Sides to Every Story. Also love their debut album. Their fourth album, Waiting for a Punchline, I was quite late getting and have only heard it a couple of times, but it's fine. I've never got their fifth one, so I haven't heard that yet. But what I've heard of this album so far on YouTube, I've really liked. But this is an amazing release anyway. So you can just make out this gorilla on the cover is textured. Sorry, slight interruption there. So sorry if the camera angle slightly changed. Um, yeah, where was I? Extreme's sixth album. As I say, what I've heard on YouTube, I've really liked. Um, but yeah, this package is excellent. So the gorilla's face is completely embossed. You know, indents on the nose and the mouth and the eyes. And then textured all through the skin it's just an amazing cover uh, and then nice sleeves but really nice colored vinyl as well red and black marble fits in with the color scheme of the album Spinning that. Speaking of nice coloured vinyl, I think this was the same day as well. Uh, Twenty-seven ninety-nine. This is the tenth anniversary re-release of Kill the Wolf, Matt Berry's second album, uh, featuring fourteen tracks never before available on record, printed on blood splatter vinyl. So this was available directly from Acid Jazz with a bonus 7-inch single, but um, I'd already pre-ordered it through Kieran when that was announced anyway, and I wasn't overly bothered about the bonus 7-inch. I do already have this album on vinyl, but I couldn't resist that. And the bonus tracks, of course. So yeah, I think disc 1 is the original album, and then disc 2 is other tracks from around that time, alternate versions, etc. Demos. Uh, Sophie Ellis Bexter released a new album, Hannah, which I haven't listened to yet. I've got two CD copies and three vinyl copies, but yet to listen to it um so two copies via her website and then the third was the hmv exclusive i think yes well i say hmv exclusive we'll get to that so the two copies via her website are this one and this is the pastel pink copy and it is a very pastel pink it's not as pink as some pink records and also you can't quite tell but with the light going through it it's basically white marbled with pink and then this is the ice blue colored vinyl I think yeah this is the standard version is the ice blue and again it's more marbled you can see there there's some dark splats up there but yes with the light going through it it's definitely a marble a, a very light blue marbled with darker blue And then what I thought was the HMV exclusive version, but turned out to be the indie exclusive version. So I could have pre-ordered this through Slice of Vinyl. Well, he didn't do a pre-order on it, but I could have ordered it through Slice of Vinyl. Um, this is the sandstone coloured vinyl. So yeah, I ended up thinking it was an HMV exclusive ordering it through HMV. So yeah, again, this is basically a yellow-y marbled 
vinyl when the light's going through it. But yeah, all very nice, different coloured vinyls. Oh, I used the vinyls word. I apologise wholeheartedly. Uh, Girls Aloud, scarily, the 20th anniversary of their debut album, Sound of the Underground. So I'm a big Girls Aloud fan. Um, and I don't care. So this is the standard version of the album, um, which I pre-ordered through a slice of vinyl, $23.99. And it's on green vinyl. And then I ordered the deluxe version of the CD. Oh, let's just show you the inner as well. Uh, I ordered the deluxe version of the CD plus the ex website exclusive picture disc. So this is the picture disc. So packaging is exactly the same. Um, interestingly, the picture disc comes in the normal sleeve, it's, so it's not done to display the picture disc. A nice picture disc and this technically came separately but I've put it in with it um, this came with a print as well obviously it would have been nice to be a signed print but for you know with the loss of Sarah it wouldn't be possible to get it fully signed anyway so that possibly put them off doing it uh, this is the new album by Janelle Monet the Age of Pleasure. Uh, so I ordered this through her website together with the C Deluxe CD. As well. I think it was a Deluxe CD I've got. One of the CDs anyway. Um, when I placed the order, it didn't complete properly my end, but the money came out of my account. Um, so I got in touch with them and they said, no, it's gone through, you're fine. And sure enough, they did turn up. So that was good customer service there. Interestingly, this doesn't actually look like what was pictured on the website in as much as the inner gatefold on that was a painting of her naked breasts. Um, but that's the actual inner gatefold. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. Uh, also, interestingly, the album cover is different from the CD cover. So we have the card with the track details on it. And then, what's the difference there? Oh, it's got um, little notes, what they're inspired by, and notes from Janelle on there. And then the credits are on the inner sleeve. And this is the, what do they call it? Sea blue vinyl, which isn't particularly sea blue, but is a nice transparent blue. Danny Minogue re-released for the 20th anniversary uh, Neon Knights album, uh, one vinyl edition which I'm about to show you. There's a couple of CD versions. There is a box set with just shitloads of remixes on it um, that I knew I didn't really want, but I nearly ordered. But then when I went to order it, the versions with the signed prints had sold out, so I thought, no, sod it, I won't. But I did buy the deluxe version, which has got... Uh, DVD on it, or Blu-ray, I can't remember which, on it, plus loads of mixes and B-sides and stuff like that. So I did get that. Yeah, plus what they're calling the official bootleg edition, which is a picture disc. So this was the only vinyl version available, unfortunately. I'd have rather have had a, a standard black even, but preferably a coloured vinyl, rather than a picture disc. But still nice to have. Um, I wish they'd... They did a re-release of Girl, her previous album, which I absolutely adore. It's certainly my favourite of her albums, and it's one of my favourite albums of the 90s. Um, and they did a, a limited re-release of that in Australia, which they did allow you to export, but it was ridiculous money. And they said they were going to do something for it over here, but they haven't so far. 
Uh, this is a new album by Teenage Waitress called Your Cuckoo. So Teenage Waitress is Daniel... 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 Daniel, 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 Daniel... Why can't I find your name, Daniel? Ash. Uh, so I became aware of him when I saw his previous band, The Lost Boys. Yes, The Lost Boys, supporting the Blue Tones in Portsmouth. So they're a local band, uh, and at the time they were all schoolboys. Um, they split, and Daniel went solo and now records as Teenage Waitress. And this is his second album. First one was excellent. Haven't listened to this one yet, but looking forward to it, and sure it'll be more of the same. Uh, he uses Paul Weller's studios, he's got lots of proper ties, if you see what I mean. Um, it's in a nice green vinyl, but he's very hands-on, and, you know, I've, I've had messages from him personally. Uh, I know that um, Ross Goodall was actually contacted by him, um, because Daniel had seen Ross talking about albums, but made... Daniel think that he'd like his album, if you see what I mean. Um, and Ross ended up buying the previous album and enjoying it, I remember. But yeah, that's Your Cuckoo by Teenage Waitress. Uh, nearly there. Ish. New album by McFly. I told you, lots of acts I like releasing new albums. Uh, this is Power Play. Sorry, Power to Play. Um... So it's exclusive yellow vinyl. It's only the yellow vinyl that's available anywhere. Uh, so this is ordered through their website together with a uh, CD. And that came with a signed print. So it's, uh, it is slightly translucent when you hold it to the light. With a little bit of marbling. This also came with a slip mat, which I don't think I'm going to use, but it's always handy to have a spare one. Nice felt slip mat. This is a new album by Jealous of the Birds. So Jealous of the Birds is Naomi Hamilton, who I saw supporting... Divine Comedy in Bournemouth 2018, I think it was. Uh, absolutely loved her. Really loved her music. Really liked her. Bought her debut album, Palmer Violets, um, which is an amazing album. Have bought everything since. A couple of EPs. Previous album, Peninsula, and now this one, Hinterland. I will admit, um, I prefer her earlier stuff, but I do still really like the later stuff. Uh, this is on turquoise vinyl. This was bought through her website. Uh, again, I've not really heard anything from it even. I try to avoid, I, you know, I'd rather listen to an album as a whole. So I, I tend to avoid early releases of what used to be singles. Um, so as not to spoil the listening experience. This is the new album by Cat Stevens, or Yusuf. This is King of the Land. So this was... Slice of vinyl. He didn't do a pre-order for this, but I nabbed it when I was in there. Um, so, really nice packaging on this. I know that uh, Richard McCook has shown this as well. So, textured sleeve. So, the name and title are textured. The moon is textured. And the central image is as well. And then... Back isn't, I couldn't remember. But then it comes as his last album did, and many of his albums have sort of had a similar element to it. But nice lyric booklet with loads of pictures in it. I won't show the whole thing, but you can see it's a nice thick book. And then in the back, on translucent green, very nice. 
uh, I was when this album was announced, I was hoping there'd be signed copies available for this website, but there wasn't. So I held off and just picked it up on day of release. Uh, this is a recommendation by Kieran at Slice of Vinyl. This is Jake Shear's Last Man Dancing album, twenty-two ninety-nine. Um, a he recommended it because Kylie's on it. And he knows how much I like Kylie. But also he just thought it would be up my alley. He did pay me a couple of tracks when I was in there. And I really enjoyed them. I like Jake Shears anyway. I, I liked the Scissor Sisters. So, nab this off the shelf. Really nice peach vinyl as well. Bit of marbling. And then finally, yep. So this is an interesting one. This is... Uh, I think it's the first vinyl release of uh, Everything's Eventual by Appleton. So this is Nicole and Natalie Appleton uh, from All Saints. After All Saints originally split, they recorded this album. I love this album. The track Don't Worry is one of my favourite songs ever. But I really like the whole album. I've had it on CD since it came out. Um, so this was announced ages ago. Right at the start of the year, I think it was. And... There was a white vinyl available through some places and a purple vinyl available for HMV. So I thought, oh, purple, for obvious reasons. So I pre-ordered it through HMV, thought nothing of it. Kept thinking, well, when's that due out? When's that due out? Um, and then it suddenly turned into one of their, uh, whatever they call their version of Record Store Day is. Vinyl Week, is it, they call it? Um, but where they have a number of titles on exclusive colours to HMV that are only available allegedly for a limited time, but most of them you can still get now. Um, but it's only turned into one of those editions, and I think the white vinyl version hasn't been released yet through the other sites. So yeah, it was very strange the way it happened, and, you know, these Vinyl Week copies you weren't meant to be able to pre-order until the start of Vinyl Week, but I was, I don't know, this was ordered back in January or whenever. But yeah. Glad to have it. Anyway, it also comes, as d does the white vinyl copy, wherever you get that from, with a signed print. Not the best pens, obviously on their way out. But I have a couple of things with their autographs on already. But yeah, a nice, proper purple vinyl. So there we go. So there you go. That's the end of part two. Um, I had to do that, otherwise it was going to be a 40-minute-odd video. So... Hopefully it made it better for you to watch. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Thanks. Bye.